Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to part three. This is part two, part three, part two. I, I, I don't know. I don't. Part three, I believe. Uh, of my anniversary. One year on Twitch. One year on Twitch, and uh, also the release of Attila and the celebration of our teammate. Nominam making it into the hidden gems. He's collecting all the teams. All right, so They have asked us to do a peaceful Cooperation thingy with the Romans They're Romans. So that's what we're going to do Um, What's all this? Ooh, filled. Ooh. Filters. Wow. Um. Nope, that's the Eastern Roman Empire. What up, man? We offer you honest welcome. Speak, friend, and hopefully Might later we will success. drink ah. to seal our agreement. They still have the likelihood of successing. So. Diplomacy is still based on relationship. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Chieftain, a word in your ear. Despite the war going on around us, there are always ambitious men who would seek to profit at the misfortune of others. Be sure to keep an eye on the political situation at home. Okay, are we going to get learn about the new politics system in here? The balance of power between the ruling family and other nobles is shown on the faction panel. The power of a political party increases with the influence of its characters. It's important to keep a healthy balance of power. The ruling family being too weak or too powerful carries negative consequences. Same as with Rome. Um, the tooltip of the on the balance of the power bar shows the effect. Mm-hmm. Characters may be appointed to high offices once they have served in lower positions. Noblemen gain influence in court as they serve your cause. Keep their power in check before they begin to tilt the political balance. The power of a political party increases with the influence of its characters. We know that. Characters build influence as they perform actions on the campaign map. Character influence can be spent by promoting them to an office or depleted by certain entry actions. Intrigue actions can be conducted by characters, potentially affecting their standing or loyalty. Intrigue actions can fail, which may have unintended consequences. A disloyal character is more likely to instigate a civil war. The loyalty of noblemen can be improved by promoting him, or marrying, or adopting him into the ruling family. Okay. So, his influence is 55. Influence is 50, 67, 66. So if I promote this guy to companion, will it. Will it deplete its influence? Promote to office. To feel a little bit. Yep, please. It's important to maintain an interest in development around your court. The ambitions of powerful men who would seek to rule must be kept in check. Embezzle funds and promote to office. Embezzle funds? A 
attempt to supplement the war chest through dishonesty and creative accounting. Excellent. Starting a new CK2 yesterday, catch it all of wheels within five years. That's, that's pretty cool. Alright, let's crush this revolt before it grows too fast. Rebels. Commanding Rebel on. Oh man, they're still at minus, really? I'm assuming these are at minus as well. Yeah. Ready for battle! But you need to recover anyway. Ready for orders! Do we have a provincial stability thing? Nope. Come Set up on, a watch. Hey, Karazan, what's up, man? How are you doing? Hmm. We might have to appoint a governor to Uplum or to this one. No, there's also always a, no, already. I should say there's already a governor here. That's minus three. We just need to wait like three turns or something. We need to appoint a governor here. That's where we need to appoint a governor. Because we need to... Yeah, wives play a part in Attila apparently. They, uh, they make children. <laughs> I have no idea what's further what their further part is um, I uh, I'm not too far uh, into the game yet this is just a tutorial Taskmaster that's fine I want to appoint you as a guy there wait is a governor for the entire province? interesting I'm doing good, Karazan. I'm enjoying uh, my birthday. Yeah, it's for the province. That's cool. Still minus five, though. <laughs> Religious differences. We can't recruit agents. Shit. Might of Till. There we go. Might of Till. Become Germanic. I will cast. Thank you so much for the host, man. Thank you for the host. I will cast. Welcome to the student. All right. Oh, thank you, Karazan. Thank you for the birthday. Yeah, if only my real birthday was on the 17th as well, right? That would be so cool. Alright. We've crushed the rebellion. Not too bad of a turn. Oh shit, the Huns are coming again. Chieftain, the Huns move in force towards our lands. We must protect our eastern frontier. Oh shit. Here they come again. No, why? Do we have economy for our third army? We do. Excellent. 
Unforeseen complications. Alephaeus, stealing money is a tricky business, and if you can't get it right, you shouldn't try. Your thief came to the same conclusion and stopped trying. Balance of power. The balance of power has shifted. As a result, that means your ruler has... What it means to rule here has changed also. After a great deal of polit political backscratching, your man has succeeding office. Excellent. The Huns are gathering to attack. The numbers are great, but we must defeat them in battle. See, it is done. Religious trains change. Former religion, German. Oh God. Germanic paganism. The might of two. Gisua. Okay. What we need is forces in Olbia to, to protect against the Huns. What we also need is a new army. Fialis Warrior. Ooh, age 65 though. This is my High King. My High King is going Warriors to lead an army. All. There we go. Death in battle? There is no finer ending. Fight with us. It's a good life. We need good fighters. There we go. Our king is going to lead in battle. Show them what true leadership is. So if we Ready leave the orders. city, it's probably gonna. Is that all? Yeah. I want hourly patrols. It's gonna get wrecked. Can we use something to get public order action? Sanitation. Nope. Public order plus three. Food consumption minus thirty-five, but we've got one hundred and eleven. Cool. Get a new city going. Oh man, this is. Uh... Oh, I'm not researching any technologies. Ready for um, battle. Um, and people need skills. For the tribe. Plus zeal, plus zeal. Excellent. You can thanks for the word of confidence, Wolf. <laughs> Gesua. Oh, the governor. So many characters to keep track of these days. Hunting, that's fine. Ooh, construction costs. That's nice. The composite here is mainly horse, so you have... So choose good where you know the fight. Yeah, that too. Oh man, the horses are upon us. It's gonna be an interesting battle. Enemy forces have crossed into our territory, Chieftain. I know. Trade gained. It's all fine. The war with the Huns will be hard fought. We should consider expanding the range of military options at our spot. disposal. Agents can be hired to support our forces or to strike hey, against Balimo, the enemy. what's up? How is this game compared to recent titles? So far, it seems like the campaign uh, has really expanded in the positive sense of the word. Um, the campaign side of things. Um, but the battle side of things... Still crap, man. Still crap. Not gonna lie. Oh, still the same agents. Okay, cool. Two, four, one, three, three. I'm going with the spy master. How can I help? Recruit a scout. 
The scout is being recruited. For the tribe, warriors all. all right. We are going to have to recruit some units. We need good fighters. Yeah, we need good fighters indeed. Because the Huns are Let's coming. So you woke up there? Yeah. Well, there's that. If you if you enjoy the campaign side, I would definitely recommend this game. If you enjoy the campaign side of Rome, I would wholeheartedly recommend this game. It's so much better. The enemy are for battle. We must act. Ouch. Okay, we're screwed. We are screwed! Uh, no. But then again, um, I never had any performance itch issues whatsoever. Neither with this game nor with uh, Rome 2. So I'm not the best when it comes to uh, talking about performance stuff. Because this PC ran Rome 2 like a dream when it came out. So I can't really tell you... Um, about performance issues, if any. I know on the forums there was a lot of complaining about Rome 2. Um, so I do hope that uh, it has been rectified in this game. Sucks so badly. Nobles! They will bleed for us! Nobles! Melee warriors! Nobles! Strappers ready! Nobles! Oh, we've got a follower, Balimar! Welcome to the Prophets. Thank you so much for the follow. And uh, yeah, thank you for supporting the stream that way. It's highly appreciated. And welcome to the Prophets. Glad to have you here. What's this? Deadly missiles ready. Like skirmish. I'm assuming that's missile troops as well, so... And we'll put you there. Comrades, we march against the enemy once again. Show them no mercy! Where can you land? Where can you land? The enemy has reinforcements! I know the enemy has reinforcements, that's the bad part. Go, go, go. Never go! I think I forget this version of the way the are going. Yeah, that's definitely a valid tactic especially with total war titles <laughs> not gonna lie no can do the oh wait they will bleed cool. for us! Wow, they've got a great range. Oh, they're tier 2, maybe that's the case. Fire all bows, all missiles. Don't break formation! Don't! 
yeah, that's true. I've a lot of people say that this is a new game, however, it's priced as an expansion pack, so it's actually... I treat it as an expansion pack. Because that's the whole thing, right? The whole... What the whole shebang was all about was like, oh my god, it's a new game, it's not an expansion pack, it's really not an expansion pack, blah 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 blah. But it actually is an expansion pack because it's priced as an expansion pack, so you can't... You can't actually treat it as a new game. That's the thing about it. It actually isn't a new game. I'm sure they they released it as such, but um, Yeah, it actually isn't a new game. It's a standalone expansion. that the enemy general is dead, chieftain, killed by our men. The enemy will surely panic without their leader. Warriors, move out! God. God damn, cavalry. Missile armed warriors! Warriors, move out! Oh, and I forgot to take on to take cavalry. That sucks. I didn't really have time to think. <laughs> they were coming, so I had to prepare. No, 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 Wolf. I'm still doing the uh, prologue. I'm checking after the prologue. Checking after the prologue. Oh shit. Fago five. Welcome to the prophets. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you that you like the stream well enough to. Uh, in such a way. That's really cool. Thank you, man. Or man. So now we're uh, have Our to hidden change. units have been revealed. That sucks. Shit, are they sneaking past us to get the town square thingy? Did the AI actually improve? Oh man. The AI actually improved. Just put the new unit towards me. Yeah, man, it, it looks cool. No, uh, like stylistic and graphic wise, it looks really cool. You won't hear me complain about that. Oh 
don't think the Huns can be stopped though. We still have an entire army there. Refreshed and everything. is an entire army. Units. Hey Adams, thank you man. Thank you. Welcome. How are you doing? They will run from you. No. Why are 
are you chasing horses? What is this? Oh man. Charge. Yeah, there we go. Not good. Not good at all. Our commander is slain by the enemy, Chieftain. We have recovered the body, but word has spread through the army. Wrecked by the tutorial, Our oh my god. Turned back. Chieftain, we must retreat. Oh man. This isn't this isn't well. Oh well, sucks. <laughs> They're still that big. Holy shit. GG well yeah GG well played Our facilities in this town are damaged Key buildings must be kept in a good state of repair if we are to benefit from the services they provide Alien defeat, you know. People deceased Yeah food shortage GG <laughs> And there's the army. All looking like they've never battled before. And another army. Hopefully they'll move into other territory. Warriors all. Always regroup the army. How can I assist you? What would you have of me? Why do I have to spy? What can I do? It can hinder armies. How Why now did I have to recruit that guy? That's not gonna help me. All that is pretty much lost. Failed to embezzle. Well, he's dead now. So the only one we can embezzle from is our high king. That's great. Ready for battle. Warriors all. You may still assign. Well, that sounds cool. 
We're going to lose that province, I think. Damn, those Huns. I hate the cavalry thing. As long as they leave it alone, I'm fine with it. But... Public order here is low, Chieftain. You must take steps to placate the people, lest they I take am. up arms against us. They returned with additional fun school. I am bezel. That's what I did, right? It may serve us to consider all available defensive tactics in the face of the Hunnic advance. Consider laying an ambush or fortifying a position. Our forces may fare better in such an engagement than in open battle. Browse the available stances, yeah. Get moving, you wretches! Done that. I know the available stances. See ya. Oh, there. A horde inside my lands. Yeah. Why not? Ready for battle. Why not? Thirsty for battle. And I can't move out because the public order will suffer. GG. Game. GG. I don't know what to do about this situation. This the Ostrogoths situation sue for peace, Chieftain. We should consider their offer carefully in the face of the Hunnic attack. Oh, yeah. Oh, more Huns! Just what we needed. Just what we needed. More Huns! Oh man. I'm considering whether it's even worth continuing this tutorial. Spring 425. Hmm. Yeah, Adam, this is only the tutorial. Safety. You are flack it. Oh, a fighter. That's fine. Thirsty for battle. Are you ready to do your duty to the tribe? Death in battle. There is no finer ending. Come, fight for us, lads. This is indeed only the tutorial, and we. Are having a serious Hanuk problem. The enemy offer battle. We must act. Fall back. You draw. Finding shelter. The enemy offer battle. We must act. A strategic overview can be useful in such uncertain times, Chieftain. 
Warriors all ready and for they just wrecked our equipment. Good. Be sure to make use of these maps when divining the path forward for our people. Well, currently the path is um. Oh wow! Look at the map. Currently the path ready is backwards. <laughs> yeah. For the tribe. You wait outside. Warriors all. You wait I outside. I want hourly patrols. Death in battle. There is no finer ending. Fight with us. It's a good life. Death in battle. There is no finer ending. Come, fight for us, lads. There you go. Ready for battle. Can we destroy them? Thirsty for them. battle. Oh, they're fleeing. On the move, lads. Right, we can destroy them. Alright. Let's destroy these guys. To battle once again. Ah. This army doesn't have ranged units? Oh crap. Great! Fork? Fog? Nope, no fog. That means we'll have to flank the. Look sharp, soldiers! Another chance to win glory against our enemy beckons. We go to battle. That means we'll have to flank him with cavalry. Because apparently I forgot to put ranged units in this tank. Radar! If we take out this army, we can at least... Uh, Take out this army, we can capture their settlement because this is the only army they have. And then we'll maybe have a chance against the Huns. Hopefully. A439. What's up? Oh, 4392. Okay, I see. Charge and all that good stuff. Why are you running forward? He's up on the running man. For some reason they ran forwards. somewhere there we go because all this positioning it's important but a massive clump of infantry yeah it's basically my standard tactic in total war Default go to thing is infantry. <laughs> like, I need to play Romans infantry. <laughs> Once we 
start taking fire, we can start running. And not running away from them, but running at them. Hiding in the back. We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. the battle. Cool. Chieftain, cursing your name with his dying breaths. Let us send his army to him. Excellent. The enemy are broken. They turn and run. This battle is ours. Excellent. 
Excellent. That will take care of their field army. You just have to believe in yourself. Your next yeah. command? On the move, lads! Okay, like these guys are too Earth inferior to be of any concern. We take this and then you move into this time. settlement. There you go. And then we'll have to take on the Huns. Somehow. I don't know how though. <laughs> You don't need to hit their them, they're not even moving. How can I help? Somehow we'll have to take on these Hunnic hordes here. That's it. But how? We're going to find out in the next part, because it's once again time for a small break. Let's save the game for a change. Prologue. There you go. Um Yeah. Small break. Uh, three to four minutes as always to uh, cut it up for the YouTubes and then we will uh, we will move into the last part of for the YouTubes last part for the YouTubes but not the last part of the stream hey Paul what's up yeah my account was made earlier but this is one year of streaming <clears throat> my account was also made in 2011 because I started watching uh, Starcraft tournaments in 2011 so that's when I made my account to watch StarCraft tournaments. And then I discovered there was more to Twitch than just StarCraft tournaments. So I started watching variety streamers. And well, the rest is history. Then I started streaming myself. And now I have a year of streaming under my belt. And also it is the release of Attila to the War. And also our great Kaleidoscope teammate Nominom has made Hidden Gems. So three reasons to celebrate. The celebration hype is real. And I'm really psyched as well. And, um... Yeah! Hype! Um... Sorry, man. Didn't ruin the month. I, uh... This account was made in 2011 as well. It's just the stream. The one year on Twitch. As in, the one year streaming on Twitch. That's, that's when I celebrate. So, I'll be back in three to four minutes. Uh, go grab yourself a drink, go stretch your legs, go do whatever it is you need to do, and I hope to see you back here for more celebrating of Echilla, Total War, and One Year on Twitch. See you guys in a bit. <laughs>